Monday morning in paradise. Great to have you with us for breakfast. Well, it was weekendus horribilis for Labour in Queensland. To talk about that, joining us now, Josh Frydenberg, Liberal MP and Labour MP Ed Husick. Good morning to you both. Great to have you with us. Josh, I'll start with you. Um, yeah. Very quickly, your view on the, on the result over the weekend? Look, it was a stunning victory for Campbell Newman and the LNP. There were two big lessons for the Federal Labor Party. First, don't break your promises to the Australian people, because that's what Anna Bly did over the privatisation agenda. And secondly, you need to manage the economy well. And Anna Bly did not do this. Uh, Labor has an $85 billion worth of debt in Queensland. They have a high unemployment of 5.7%, and then they also lost the AAA rating. Mm -hmm. And these, the, these are two characteristics of the federal Labor government as well. And so Ed Husick knows how bad it will be for Julia Gillard at the next election. That's why he decided to vote for Kevin Rudd in the ballot only a few weeks ago. So oh. what I'm predicting, Paul, is that Kevin Rudd is going to come back with a vengeance. All it's right. a fighting Ed, words. Ed, it's a what, fighting what's your, words for well, what's, They are fighting words, actually, and you can fight in a moment. But your view on the weekend? Oh, look, it was, you know, you've had Labor in government for 20 out of 22 years in Queensland. So there's an issue of, like, almost the it's time factor So you're saying there. just the tide and is going a, out? Well, the tide was going out. There were state issues at play but you can't ignore, I mean, no one can ignore the size of the, the swing. It's a pretty clear message. Absolutely, yeah. and you've got to respect in a democracy what you know, the public say. But as for some of the points that Josh raised, I mean, I'm not going to... Uh, I can't sit here on a Monday morning and be told about uh, promises when Tony Abbott said, only believe me if I've got it in writing. Mm. And as for the economy, well, there are a lot of economies in the world where they've got double the unemployment rate and they'd love to have an economy yeah, going as gangbusters ev as Everyone ever. knew that before the weekend's result. And as you say, they've sent you a clear message. I mean, do, do you think Josh is right? Is this time to reincarnate, heaven forbid, Kevin Rudd? No, we've made the decision in terms of that. We've just got to keep working in terms of, like, day in, day out on the things that matter to people. And that's what we've got to do. But, you know, uh, we did have on Friday Tony Abbott and the opposition saying this would be a referendum on the federal federal government yep. and they're backing away a million miles an hour because you've got to recognise people make these decisions. They distinguish clearly. They're smart to distinguish state If federal. though, as you know, if that is a referendum federally, then you're out. Oh, look, no one doubts government in this day and age is hard, and it, it is. So we've just got to uh, basically perform. But at Josh, the same time, you... too, can I just make yep. a very quick po point? You know, when you do get in government, you've got to make it walk, work. You can't sleepwalk as they're doing in Victoria. You can't sleepwalk as they're complaining about here in New South Wales. Campbell will probably sleep jog. But, you know, the, the, the thing is, when you get in government, you've got to do things. <laughs> All right, Josh, are you planning um, which ministerial portfolio you want and, and, and imagining, like last night when you were dreaming, were you thinking of riding in a ministerial limousine? Absolutely not. Uh, look, I think that uh, you know we've still got quite a way to run before the next federal election, and Tony Abbott is keeping really good discipline on our side and keeping us focused on our agenda. Have as you well talked as to Tony? Have you talked to Tony since the result? I talked to him by text uh, oh, yesterday, and he's now he's on the poly pedal, and I'll be joining him for that uh, well, later tonight. I'd be worried about uh, you, Josh. Big to differ, and this is the way they talk these days. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But, but, you uh, know, but you know, but look, I think I think you know Tony was out there campaigning with Campbell Newman. We really didn't see Julie Gillard up that. Oh, much. that was a good move from uh, her point of view. She doesn't want to be within an arm's breadth of this kind of disaster. I, I think it's the other. Yet. I think it's the other way around, Paul. I don't think Anna Bly wanted Julia Gillard there because she may have even lost a few more. Seats, Hard to imagine. <laughs> I mean, Julia Gillard, was that a wise choice that she hasn't been tainted with this? No, but I mean, I think a lot of other ministers have been up there out and about, you know, working. And you do, especially if you're a Queensland minister. I know Wayne Swan was there helping out. A lot of other Queensland people have been uh, out helping their colleagues because they, they're in the same state. You weren't Sometimes there, were you? No. No. Yeah, good old you, eh? <laughs> Lucky old you. Um, let's talk about a couple of different things with you. Um, first of all, Ed, uh, you uh, are querying Apple. Why are Apple products so much more expensive in Australia than they are in other parts of the world? And I've been asking this for about 12 months, Paul. Like, basically, you know, a lot of people when they go online can see the savings straight away. You know, they look at what they want to buy in terms of software and hardware mm -hmm. and they see massive differences. And what I've been calling on for the last 12 months is to say, look, just explain why the differences exist. And I've been concerned particularly for two groups. Small business that have to renew their software licenses, paying up to $12,000 more. Mm -hmm. And also young people who don't have the income. Have you had any answers yet? No. 
Um, there have been no attempts by the major suppliers, and I include Adobe, Apple, Lenovo, Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, well, let's open this up, get comment from them and the public to get answers on why products cost so much. It is the most arrogant fruit in the world, Apple. You realise that? That's what I'm hearing. Um, all right, Josh, finally, <laughs> finally to you. You spend 18 hours walking on the weekend. And a couple of hours in the sleeping bag on the Oval. But uh, it was all for a very good cause. It's called Real A for Life. Uh, it's a charity uh, for the Cancer Council. And, uh, you know, cancer will affect one in two Australians by the time they're 85. So our team, the Keon Colts, raised over $10,000. And uh, in Hawthorne, in the electorate, for you. teams raised over 150000 So Can you even cause. walk now? I'm limping. Uh, I'm limping. Okay, let me just see you stand. Can, can you stand without, without, do you have to cripple oh, yes, yourself? To, yeah, let's just see if you can stand. Let's watch. Smiling but limping. Go. Try Go. now, try now. You gotta try stand. and see if you can stand. Ready? Go on. Go. <laughs> he can't move. He can't move. Oh, I, he is standing maybe. Um, all right, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Josh Frydenberg and um, Ed Husick, thanks Good for your time you. this morning. Thanks. thanks, Ed. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Josh. Good on you. Uh, now, today we are